Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. And we got another figure to review, so it's review time, people. It is I, the Pennsylvania toy collector himself. And today we'll be reviewing a figure from Transformers Kingdoms, and it's core class, Starscream. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help the Starscream impression. You know what I mean? And then we got a nice product shot of Starscream in his robot mode, his jet mode. Nice artwork on the front of the box, or cardboard sleep slip. That's all there is to say for that cardboard slip. Now we're going to look at the figure itself. And he is based in his G1 jet style, which is really nice. He can come down from you and go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. At some Autobots from the skies, which is nice. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. He slides, he doesn't roll. So now let's get down to transformation, which I've memorized this pretty good. Disconnect the arms, disconnect the ch what's going to be the robot mode chest, disconnect the legs, disconnect the nose cone, rotate around. Flip down the nose cone to form the backpack. And straighten out these panels to form the chest. But first, before doing that, we're going to turn around the head and then peg these in to secure it all nice. Rotate the forearms. And there we got. Starscream in his robot mode. We missed a step. Finally fold these in. <laughs> I almost missed a step, didn't I? <laughs> Don't want to miss a step here, but there's Starscream in his robot mode. And this looks pretty good for a core class figure robot mode. It's actually pretty good and pretty decent. But now for the most important thing... Comparison. Bumblebee worth Bumblebee to compare this with. And they're exactly almost the same size. You can see Bumblebee worth the same size as Starscream. Yeah, they're exactly almost the same size. And he is less bigger then Spike. Yep. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure from? Well, I got this from Amazon for probably 10 bucks. Is he worth adding to your G1 Decepticons? Yes. Pick him up. He's a nice, good-looking core class figure. If you're a Transformers enthusiast like I am, pick him up. You won't regret it. Definitely the worthwhile 10 bucks I spent on this guy. And that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.